I write in a forest. I go into these collections of trees to do nothing but listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library in 2015 in Charlotte, North Carolina, has evolved into a lifelong commitment and journey. Something is always moving through each and every one of us. It's our calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 334, September 17th, 2022. Sometimes it feels like you're waiting for a call from God. Hello? Here I am in the forest. Are you there? For a brief moment, the sunrise was so bright I could barely see the writing instrument. Then everything becomes a shadow. Is that what it felt like when Jesus would walk by on the streets of his real-time world? The energy was physical, the pace a slow stroll. What about the people of the biblical times, when the spiritual child would walk the streets? Did they know that it was that guy? Or was it the spoken tongue of those who had already been passed by? While they gathered, they must have felt like, I'm waiting for the call. His only son is nearby, but not everyone gets to feel the light. Our minds are occupied. The passing of sunlight is every day. We never see the other side of the street in the days of Jesus. We only saw him. We only know of the moments when the word was spoken. This is heavy. I wrote this on September 17th, 2022. Right now we're on May 19th, 2023. So almost a year has gone by. I would like to know what the writer in the forest was feeling that day. Outside of that sun being so bright. And I've been there so many times when I write outside. It's so bright that I really physically cannot see the page. Because it's white against sunlight. There's energy that's being caused and created. And the effects of it are statements like this. Nobody saw the other side of the street when Jesus would walk by. I'm not going to turn this into a religious study, but it's something to think about. Those moments when you feel this enormous amount of something, you don't want to explain it, but you want it to continue. And then, slowly, you begin to see what's on the other side of the street. Learning to trust those moments of disconnection from the reality of your written path is a time where we learn. It's a time of embracing the cleansing of your heart. He's right. Back in September of 2022, we are occupied. What is weighing you down? And are you honest enough to say, you know, maybe I need to step back a few more steps. It could cost me some money and it could cost me a friendship, but I'm occupied. I'm too much. I can't see on the other side of the street. And it's not the Holy Spirit in front of me. Everything is man-made. What is blocking your view from the other side of the street? We're occupied. I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.